Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us take a look into add qualifier annotation. Well, add qualifier annotation is used in a conjunction with add uttered annotation to avoid confusion when we have a two or more spin beans configured for the same type. Well, let me write some code to demonstrate the usage of add qualifier annotation so that you will understand better. So let me go to project in IntelliJ IDEA and here let me quickly create one interface in a service package. So within a service package, let's create an interface and let's give a name as pizza and within a pizza interface, let's quickly create a method. So let's give a return type as string and let's give a method name as get pizza. Next go to wedge pizza class and let us implement this interface. So go to wedge pizza class and implements pizza interface and override get pizza method and provide the implementation. So we have already implemented a get pizza method. So let's annotate this method with at uttered annotation. Next, let us create a one more class named non wedge pizza and that class implements this pizza interface. So go to service package and let's create a new class. Let's do name as non wedge pizza and this class implements pizza interface and provide implementation for its methods. So just more so in this class, click on implement methods and select the method that you want to implement and click on OK. All right, perfect. And go to get pizza method and provide the implementation. So here go to return statement and instead of returning null, let us return non which pizza. Perfect. Next, let us annotate this class with add component annotation so that Spring Container can automatically create a Spring Bean and manage that Spring Bean for this class. Next, in a pizza controller, to achieve loose coupling, we will inject the interface and will pass the implementation dynamically. Alright, so here let me avoid build injection and let me use constructor injection over here. And instead of injecting the class, let us inject the interface to achieve the loose coupling. So here pizza interface and go to constructor and here pass pizza interface as an argument and here let us remove this and this dot pizza equal to pizza. Perfect and here let us remove the reference variable and let us give reference variable pizza. Now we have injected the dependency using pizza interface. Well, Spring team basically recommended to use interface for dependency injection because this will achieve the loose coupling. All right. And if we can look at the constructor over here, this constructor takes pizza interface as an argument, isn't it? And this pizza interface has a multiple implementations like wedge pizza and non wedge pizza. So Spring IOC container will get confused like which pizza interface implementation they have to inject using this constructor because there are multiple implementations of pizza interface isn't it so in order to avoid this confusion or ambiguity we can use add qualifier annotation for example go to this constructor and go to this pizza interface over here and let us use add qualifier annotation and let us pass the bin name here let us say we want to inject wedge pizza bin by using this constructor then we can simply pass this wedge pizza bin name so by default Spring IOC container will give bin name to this wedge pizza spring bin as a class name but the first letter in a lowercase right so wedge pizza okay now this add qualifier annotation tells Spring IOC container to inject this wedge pizza spring bean using this constructor okay perfect next let us test this change so go to main method and let us run the program and there we go we can able to see wedge pizza is printed in a console because we have injected wedge pizza spring bean in a pizza controller by using add qualifier annotation so here basically we told explicitly spring ioc container to inject you know wedge pizza spring bean next if you want to inject non wedge pizza spring bean then we can simply pass non wedge pizza spring bean name here for example non wedge pizza so this is the name for the spring bean Next, let us test this change. So go to main method. From here, let us run the application. And there we go. In a console, you can able to see non-wedge pizza string is printed. Because 
we have told spring container to inject non-wedge pizza spring bean in a pizza controller by using add qualifier annotation all right so this is how we can use add qualifier annotation to tell spring ioc container to inject a specific spring bean okay so basically spring ioc container gets confused like which pizza interface implementation it have to inject because this pizza interface has a multiple implementations isn't it so in order to avoid that confusion we have used add qualifier annotation